Oh, tell us about Felicity. Yes, all, all this stuff. The goal here is to reconstruct the whole world in Maybe not the construction. And uh, Maybe not the, uh, to do this, I'm going to use uh, people and their cell phones and their cell phone cameras. So instead of like fancy equipment or whatever, just like the people that are already out there with their phones, I can get them to play this game by virtue of being a game. They'll want to play and take pictures and then use their pictures to reconstruct a 3D model of the world. Okay. So, what happens is I have a world and it has nice maps and it has some like 3D models already on the map and um, players take photos and they add these photos to these models and then the models grow and expand and take over the world. <laughs> Um, and over here is an example of like four different models that each start out as just like one corner of this building uh -huh. and I added photos to them incrementally um, and then was able to merge them together when they grew so large that they overlapped. So the hope is that I'd seed all these models all over the world and people would play and grow them and then you'd have a model of the whole world. I see. So the idea is you already you have a model that you want to have photos then tied to or are you to deriving the models based on photos. You would start with like a small set of photos to make like a small set of models and like users could provide these seed models, just like take 30 pictures of this area yeah. and see if it makes a good model and then that model will grow and then everyone else can add to it. Um, so, no, I was just gonna ask what the, how the point cloud represents um, this. What you have here, I guess that, that's the point cloud, right? Yeah, yeah. So, how, how, what is that? What is that actually representing in terms of? So the point the, cloud represents basically all of the, the features in the image. They've all been matched and they've all been triangulated. All of the points are known and all of the camera positions are known. Okay. And this is done the same way that like Photosynth does it. If you were able to turn off all the photos in mm -hmm. Photosynth, or like you can do that on your iPhone actually, which is the iPhone Photosynth app, then you'll just see the point cloud. Because mm. it's actually using the same backend that Photosynth uses. I was going to ask that question. Okay. So. And, um, yeah. Cool. Okay. And so, to play the game, a user, uh, I should give an example of this. Uh huh. Um, a user has a stash of photos, and ideally, this would be an iPhone app, and they just take a photo and start playing. But right now, I don't have an iPhone app, so I just have a collection of photos. So I'll say I'm gonna pick this image. Uh, I'm gonna pick this image up here and add it to the CSV model. So the user has to select which model it goes into. Okay. Um, and then I get to place on the map where I took this image from. So I think I took it from like here. This would be easier if I was doing this like on my phone. Right, if they're GPS encoded. Yeah. Like uh, the GPS sensors on an iPhone are not accurate enough, but they could help like give a, a guess for the user to make it more accurate. Yeah. Like okay. So then I click submit. And, and is that accurate enough for that, software to work? Um, all of this GPS stuff just like anchors the model to the world for generating the overlay for the map. Okay. Everything else, like the the GPS, doesn't really matter for the rest of it. Um, the image will get put into the model wherever the system decides to fit. Okay. So, so it just needs to know sort of a general area? Yeah, it, it just like matches the points and matches like all of the camera sees these points and the points are here in the 3D world and the camera must be here. I see. Here. So it's, okay. So it's, right. it makes the ultimate determination where that would have been. And so over here, this happens pretty fast. Also the GPS is planting with like the hide that things are happening slowly, but they're not that slow anymore. Um, so this image added 370 points and the image is like where it's up there and it added the yellow place and the red is like the original, or something, it's, it's the whole model. And so I can click on this and see um, a rotating 3D point cloud of wow. the whole thing. And um, I don't know, uh, here this red camera mm -hmm. is the new camera, or it's the position that it found for the new camera. For the new image. And it, in here somewhere, there are little red points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the red, the new oh geometry points that the image added, and then the player gets points for those three points. And then they also get ownership of the points. And I don't have a good view of it, but like, this player technically owns like a ton of points in this model, and they'd be able to show it to their friends and be like, I own 
<laughs> right, I built this through my photos, exactly. basically. Oh, that's really cool. So it's kind of competitive in the sense that you want to, you want to add to the model. You want to be able to fill in the gaps, and the more the more points you get, or the more the more points that you added to the model, the more points you get, yeah. and the better. Oh, it's very cool. Um, and is it is it in uh, is it at a stage where people can play at this point, or right now? It, I just have models around the computer science building. Yeah. I may like get my friends to test it out next week, but this is like it's pretty new. Yeah. I'm the only player so far. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks, Kathleen. Appreciate it.